If you'd like to practice speaking these Korean verbs more efficiently, we have an audio course called Listen and Repeat. And if you want to know more verb conjugations, we have a paperback book called Korean Verbs Guide. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Have you ever thought that 아니요 and 아니에요 were the same? Keep watching. <music> 안녕하세요 여러분, 선현우입니다. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. So this is a very, very common mistake that a lot of Korean learners make. 아니요 and 아니에요. So to give you the conclusion, they are different. Okay, they're not the same. A lot of people think they are the same, but they are just not the same. They serve different purposes. Okay, so 아니요, 아니에요. Granted, 아니요 and 아니에요, if you say those phrases quickly, they sort of sound similar. 아니요, 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 아니에요, 아니에요, 아니에요. So they are similar, but to make it simple, 아니요 is no. Okay, 아니요 is no, as in yes or no. Yes, as you know, is 네 or 예, 네 and 예. And no is 아니요, three syllables. Whereas 아니에요 is a conjugated form of the verb 아니다, which means to be not, to be not something, okay? Not, to be not somewhere, all right? To be not something. So 아니에요. Four syllables. So in certain cases, contexts, situations, you can replace 아니요 with 아니에요 and it still works. But in actually the essence of the uh, meanings of these phrases, they're different. So 아니에요 is no, it's not, no, I'm not, no, it's not true. No, that is not the case, okay? Although you're not saying no. And of course, you can say 아니요 and 아니에요 together, like no, it's not. 아니요, 아니에요. So some examples, somebody can say uh, 지금 바빠요, 지금 바빠요, and you can say 아니요, 아니요, three syllables, which means no. And then 지금 바빠요 can be the same question, and then an answer can be 아니에요, 아니에요, which means I'm not 바빠요, or it's not true, 아니에요. So in this case, what is being omitted? You're not omitting 저 아니에요 or other things. You're just saying that it is not true, 아니에요. So 아니에요 can be used to mean no, but it is important to understand that they are fundamentally just essentially different. So for example, 이거 먹는 거예요? Somebody said it, 이거. This thing, this one, 먹는 거, 먹는 거, food, something to eat, something edible. 이거 먹는 거예요? Is this food? And to that question, the next person says, 아니요. It means no. And if person A asks the same question, 이거 먹는 거예요? And person B says, 아니에요. It means it is not. So you could say in this case, 먹는 거 is being omitted in front of the sentence. 먹는 거 아니에요. It is not food. All right? So I just gave you two sets of examples. I hope they were clear examples, good examples. So again, to sum it up, 아니요, it means simply no. And if you change it into casual language, you say 아니, 아니. Yes is 응, 응. And 아니, like in casual language, instead of 응, people often say 어, 어. 어, 아니, 응, 아니, 네, 아니요, 예, 아니요. And now moving on over to the 아니에요 side. In casual language, you say 아니야, 아니야, okay? So just like 아니요 and 아니에요 are different, 아니 and 아니야 are also different in meaning, all right? 아니에요 is just, it is not. All right, so that's it. And that is why uh, when somebody says, thank you, you often say 아니에요. It means 감사할 일 아니에요. It is not something that you should thank me about or for. All right? So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video lesson. Uh, if you have any further 
Korean questions, more questions, please ask us on Twitter at TTMIK or you can leave your questions down below in the comments. 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 만나요. Bye bye.